Good day. In today's demonstration, we are going to have a look at creating a simple event receiver for SharePoint 2013 using Visual Studio. Here are a couple of simple points to keep in mind. First, choose the item and the action you want. It may be for a site or a list. In today's example, we are going to take up the list task and the action item deleting. And next step is to choose the logic. In our example, you are going to stop the deletion for an item deleting event. Third step is to test the logic from the user interface. You can insert the data and try deletion of the list item. To create an event receiver from Visual Studio, the first step is to open up Visual Studio as an administrator then create an empty SharePoint project, then add an iNew item to add the event receiver, then update the list URL from the elements.xml to bind to a specific list. Next step is to update the code logic in the CS or VB file, and the last step is to run the code and test the code from your SharePoint site URL. Let's go to the demo now. Click New Project. Under SharePoint Solutions, click SharePoint 2013 Empty Project. Rename the project. Select the URL and in our example, we'll deploy as a sandbox solution and click finish. Add a new event receiver item. Choose event receiver. Rename stop task deletion. In the list items, we shall choose the task list and select an item is being deleted. Observe that there are various other options available. Based on your requirement, you can choose them. In our example, we will choose item is being deleted. Click finish. You may rename the default feature names and click the elements.xml file. We shall give a specific URL for our list. Type list equal to slash task. Now go to the code behind and type this code. We are typing a simple code which will allow, avoid the deletion from the list. In case you want to get the properties from the list like the title and all, you can use properties of open brackets title and you can get the values if needed. Let's go ahead and build this code. Build succeeded. Let's deploy this code. Sorry, you should specify the list URL and not list. Let's deploy again. Go to the task list in your site. Let's try deleting an item from the list. See, the error is displayed. Sorry, items in the task list cannot be deleted. We'll go back to the site. If you see the list, the task is not deleted. 
So here is a quick overview of what we tried today. We created a new Visual Studio SharePoint project, added a new event receiver item, and we added, updated the elements.xml file to the list uh, task using the list URL attribute. Then we updated the code behind to cancel the item deleting event, and we tested the code from the user interface in the task list. Thank you.